Hello friend, welcome in OGuild, a knowledge and skill sharing platform. In today's video of a complete Python video lecture series for beginner, we will discuss about object-oriented programming in Python. So let's start. These are the contents that we will discuss in today's lecture. That is how to create a class, create object, object methods, and finally we will discuss about Python inheritance, which is most important part. So uh, first of all, we will understand how to create a class. So uh, as we know that Python is an object-oriented programming language. Object-oriented programming language. Uh, so what is object-oriented programming language? What it mean? We had already discussed this about this in lecture video one. Uh, if still you did not see that video, so please uh, must see that video in which we had discussed about object-oriented programming. So. Uh, let's move uh, everything in python in terms of class and object yes because uh, we deal with class and objects in uh, python so first question is how to create a class so for that we use class keyword class keyword is used to create a class in python so this is the practical uh, example so here we have class keyword and uh, this is the class name valid variable name class name and after that colon symbol and here so simple rule is how to create a class you will just use class keyword and after that class name you will write and after that colon symbol for example class here student so uh, one important thing is class uh, contains properties plus methods so every class contains properties and methods so here we have two properties name and age these are the properties so these are the properties uh, and method that is display displays this method so how to create method or define the method we had already made the video on this uh, if you still didn't see that video so please uh, see the video function in python so you will understand how to create and define the function so in this class student we have defined two properties name and age and one method that is display that will simply print the name one question arises that what is self so self what is self here so we will discuss about in uh, uh, next slide about self so let's move so first question we have already completed that how to create class then after that how to create object so after creating a class we need to create object so how we can create object uh, that uh, we have already made the class student name ajay age 20 and this uh, method we have already made so this is the way this is this line basically this will create an object of class student so how to create object in python simply you have to give object name assignment operator then class name class name you will give so here uh, the object name is stu1 we have taken uh, we can take any variable name and class name is student so this way we have created the uh, object of a student class we can take any uh, object name like a student1 any variable name we can take then object uh, then class name we will write so it will create the object so very simple and after that when creating the object stu1 we have created the object stu1 when we apply dot operator then we can access all the public properties and method here we uh, call the method display with the help of this class uh, object stu1 okay so now you can see the output name ajay and age 22 because display method uh, simply print the name and age so this what is self so self is uh, is is used as use as reference type type to access 
करेंट क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट करेंट क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट सो इट इज सेम एज वी यूज दिस दिस इन जावा इन जावा लैंग्वेज वी यूज दिस की वर्ड सेम हेयर वी यूज सेल्फ एज अ रेफरेंस टाइप टू एक्सेस करेंट क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट सो नाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज द यूज ऑफ सेल्फ सो लेट्स मूव नाउ यू ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू क्रिएट ऑब्जेक्ट सो लेट्स डू द प्रैक्टिकल डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन ऑफ दिस इन बाई चांस सो दैट यू विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू क्रिएट क्लास एंड ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल क्रिएट क्रिएट क्लास in python so simple we will use class keyword then class name suppose we have given the class name student so here we have taken two properties name suppose its value is nothing suppose i am taking name ajay and age suppose i have given 22 and uh, these are the properties of class student so now we will create method so we have method we can create method with def keyword method name is display and so self is a reference type which is will use to access current class object as we already discussed so name we will print with the help of self you can see when i will type dot you can see the current as class object name and age two property we have already see we can already see here so first of all we will print name and after that print age equals to comma self dot age so we have uh, uh, created the class now we will create object create object of class student so we will create the class object of student class so simply we will give object name suppose i have given this object name as tu1 then class name that is student so you can see it's so now so when i will use stu1 dot this operator gives the all the properties that we have defined here when we'll save this you can see now we have two properties age and name and one method that is display method we have defined so all uh, all the uh, attributes and method we have available here so i will call the display method and after saving this when i will call this you can see output that is name ajay and age 20 because display method simply print the properties okay so this is uh, the way how you can create class and object in python so let's move uh, next slide so we will discuss about object methods as we know that in uh, class we define different different method we can define different different methods according to our requirements for example here this in this class already we have discussed this is a class student now you understand how to create class this class has two properties these are the properties so now you understand properties uh, name and age uh, properties of the class student now we have this this is the uh, uh, very important thing that is work as a constructor as you uh, heard this name is java also constructor is a special member function or method uh, which is used to 
initialize the class object which is used to is used to initialize the class object this is the feature of constructor constructor is used to create object to initialize the object okay so uh, this is the uh, init uh, in init is a special method that is called constructor with the help of self reference it will initialize the value of name aj and age 24 now you here you can see we have defined two method first method is create get um, create get data method for class student we are creating this is the method one first method this is first method and uh, in which uh, this method we are taking the values from keyboard and self dot name input enter the name uh, enter the student name and age enter uh, we have uh, type class into integer because by default input function return a string type so we have enter the values or properties uh, values uh, from the get data method from the keyboard and uh, second method uh, this is also method and this is method uh, number second in this is called display method in this method we are simply displaying the um, uh, properties values uh, using self reference so it will work so here first of all we will create the object of the student class student1 then uh, with the help of student1 dot uh, this dot operator will give the access of two method first first one first time we have directly called display method so uh, because we have not enter the value of keyboard uh, we are not calling first get data method so it simply initialize the object uh, with initial value that uh, name aj and age 24 and it will display using print function and second time uh, we have first called the get data method so uh, now get data method will call this get data method will call and it will give uh, a chance to enter the student name from the keyboard we have entered the name aman and enter the age we have entered the age 28 now it will overwrite the default value that is ajay with uh, aman and uh, the age 28 with 24 so now the output is you can see the output name aman and age 28 so this is the way how we can create object methods so uh, let's do the practical implementation in PyCharm so we will go on PyCharm here we have already clear create the class student uh, so here we will define now none here and name also none and with the help of a special member function that is constructor we will initialize this is the new thing that you will learn using def so we will object methods object methods we will define so def then init here I will define self dot name suppose I will give the value aj and self dot h that is 22 we have defined then we have defined display method to print the simply the value so first uh, and second method we will also define to get value from keyboard we will define second method this is constructor we have defined this is the constructor class constructor so after that we will do uh, we will uh, create one method def get data 
we will create this method first of all and with the help of this method we will enter the value from the keyboard input and self dot similarly h we will type cast into integer because by default input function return a string type enter h so finally we have defined uh, two method method first and this one is method second so we have defined two method and now we will try so first of all we will create the object we have already created the object and first of all we will directly call uh, when and when I will apply dot symbol here you can see we have two properties name and age and age and two method display and get data you can see here so first of all I will directly call display method so that it will show the use of constructor and second time I will first call get data method and after that I will call display method dot display so when I will do I will save this and execute this now you can see here in output screen by default it is initialized the name is aj and age 22 because we have used a special member function that is constructor which is used to initialize class object here the class object is initialized with the name aj and age 22 now after that it we have called the get data method here you can see we have called get data method so it is asking to enter the name suppose i have entered the name amit and the age I have given 29 so now you can see the output name Amit and age 29 why because now these values overwrite with default values so now you understand how to create object how to different object different methods and how you, now you have also learned how to use constructor first time in Python so uh, we will move to the next slide so that so uh, now I'm going to discuss very important terminology that is Python inheritance very important concept in object oriented programming most important thing is by uh, inheritance is reusability 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 we can reuse so inheritance is OOP feature OOP that is object oriented programming feature to derive subclass that is child class that inherit that is inherit means save all the methods and properties of from base class that is called parent class so here we have uh, uh, seen two term child class and parent class or subclass or base class so first question is how to create parent class so first question is how to create parent class what is parent class parent class is a base class from where properties and method is inherit share the class from where we will inherit the properties and methods into subclass or child class so let's come into the uh, practical example here we have create already class student in previous uh, uh, topic uh, previous uh, topic we have uh, already discussed class student we have two properties these are two properties we have name and age and uh, this now you understand what is this this is constructor So what is the use of constructor now you understand we have any slice and now this is the type of parameterized constructor parameterized constructor because in this constructor we have passed two parameters name and age and this 
name uh, this uh, this two properties uh, with the help of self reference name is initialized with name and age is initialized with age so this is type of parameterized constructor we have used here in the previous uh, topic we had used uh, the constructor that is uh, default constructor this constructor is default constructor default constructor mean it automatically call if will not create it will automatically create and it will initialize when, with the help of some garbage value so this is a two wave one is default constructor and second is that is here uh, parameterized constructor we have used so uh, with the help of parameterized constructor we have initialized name with name and age is with age uh, local variable this these name and age are local variable for this function this special function and name and this name and age are the prop the properties of the class so we have defined the one method in this base class that is display info which uh, self parameter is used to reference type to access current class of object that we have already discussed so it will print this uh, display info method for the class student it will simply print the name and age so this is the way we have created the base class first of all we will create the base class so let's uh, go on uh, create the base class uh, for this inheritance let's we will go on our PyCharm window so we have already created the class uh, and here we have defined uh, that is default para constructor so now we will create a parameterized constructor here I will pass a name and age also and here I will initialize this name with this name local variable and age with this local age variable so our topic is now create base class for inheritance so class is student uh, we have two properties name and age and uh, these uh, this is a uh, parameterize parameterized constructor now you understand we have the past two parameters here and now we have defined uh, one method we have we will define one method here that is display info method which, uh, which will simply define uh, which will simply print the name and age so uh, now we have created the class base class uh, now we have created a base class for the inheritance in this base class we have uh, base class is a student this is base class so we, in this base class we have two properties name and age and one uh, param parameterized constructor we have defined and one public method that is display info we have already created so let's move on the slide uh, so we'll um, discuss next thing that is create child class what is child class so child class is a subclass uh, subclass who inherits who inherits properties and methods from parents or base class so uh, here you can see in this example we have already created the base class this is base class we have already created and we have defined two properties and one method here and one uh, parameterized constructor this is parameterized constructor we have constructor so we have defined here and one method display info let's see here so how to use inheritance so define inheritance we use class then subclass name here subclass name is course subclass name subclass name and then parenthesis then after that we will write, write base class name then colon symbol for example here class base class um, drive subclass is course 
and in this course class uh, course class will inherit the properties and method of student class so student is the this is base class and this is child class so base class or parent class we can say parent class also so here we this line create the inheritance create subclass inheritance we can see and in this uh, uh, subclass we have again defined its class para constructor so this is course class constructor course class constructor so this is course class uh, class constructor we have defined here constructor we have defined and uh, one important thing in inheritance constructor is not inherit that mean is that is not share so for that we have to call the base class constructor from the subclass very important thing please keep uh, prop, uh, see properly uh, this is very important thing for that uh, for that we use a special function that is super super to call base class base class constructor in child class child class so this is very important so we have your super dot in it this will call the base class constructor and in base class constructor we have two parameters name and age so we have passed two parameter name and age here you can see here name and age so by the way the base class constructor will uh, use here so by default it is not inherit from the in the inheritance so we have to call the special function that is super which is used to call to call base class constructor so now uh, this course class have one property that is course name and this course name will be initialized with this uh, this is also a parameterized constructor in subclass uh, with the course c name uh, and this class subclass has also have one method that is display course display course and this is this class uh, display course method for the class not class student for the class for the class is course this is the class course not for the class student so here we just print the uh, course name with help solve self dot course name so now you can see we are creating the object of subclass we are not creating the object of base class we are creating the object in inheritance uh, always we always uh, in inheritance we always create the inheritance we always create object of child class child class so we have created the object of child class that is course and in this class we have passed three parameters why before that you if you see uh, in the before lectures uh, when we had created the object in this uh, lecture in this slide we have created the object but we have we did not pass any parameters when we when we were creating the object because we are using in this uh, default parameter default constructor we are not use parameterized constructor so it will automatically initialize uh, the uh, properties with default uh, values that we have given here so here we have used uh, we have used uh, 
def not default parameter uh, const uh, default uh, uh, constructor we have used parameterized constructor that's why we are providing three three uh, properties uh, first for the first two for base class and third for uh, derived class because in derived class we have uh, derived class constructor why we are uh, sending three because we are creating the object of uh, derived class and in derived class or child class we can see we have defined three properties name age and uh, we have passed three parameter actually we have passed three parameter name age and c name course name so we are providing first name and age and then third course name when i will call uh, obj dot display info you can say display info it will call it will it will call the um, you can see it will call it will call parent class class method that is display info this is the beauty of inheritance we are calling the method of base class with the help of object of Drive class, so it is sharing shared here. It is inherit here. So obj dot display info is the method of base class. You can see the method of base class, and with the help of object of the derived class, I I am calling the base class method. And obj dot display course. This is the method of derived class. So now you can see the name Amit, age twenty three, and course BCA. It is it is showing the output so uh, let's do the total practical implementation so that all thing will be clear in your mind so I'm going in PyCharm again so that you will understand completely we have already created the base class here so now we will create a child class child class we will create the child class so we will write class keyword then sub we have the child classes course and inside that I will define the base class that is parent class then colon and here I will give drive class constructor and here I will pass three parameters name age and course name and any slice super function what is the use of super function this is special function that is used in inheritance to access the base class constructor because in inheritance uh, constructor is not inherit so it will uh, inherit the base class constructor so we will pass name and age here and after that we will pass we will set the course name name with the help of C name so now we have defined our drag class constructor and here I will also define one method display course so with the help of print statement I will print course name self dot you can see here course name also so now we have created the drive class or child class now if you understand we have created the this is the constructor child class constructor child this is child class constructor and super function call base class constructor 
in case of inheritance we can we use in this case is this in case of inheritance so now we will create the object of of the drive class that is course class obj object name i can take any object name obj one suppose i have taken then class name that is course and here i will pass three parameter amit 23 and code suppose I have given PIT so after that obj1 dot first of all I will call display info and after that I will call obj1 dot display course so and I will save this and call this you can see the output name Amit and age 23 these two are displaying with the help of display, uh, display info method of base class and course name is display with the help of the derived class method so now you understand here we have used base class and derived class in base class we have two properties name and age and uh, one method that is display info and this is base class constructor and derived class have one property course name and one method display info and the, with the help of this line we have create create constructor create inheritance sorry okay yes okay uh, now you understand uh, so I think now you understand uh, how we can understand everything how to create base class how to create uh, child class so uh, finally the, the delete object how we delete the object del keyword we use del keyword to delete the object for example del student it will uh, delete the object student so uh, del keyword is used to delete the object from the memory so uh, this is about inheritance uh, topic uh, we can uh, see here also practically in icharm so if i will delete this like del then i have delete the student and when i will save this and when i will execute this sorry uh, when I will delete the course and when I will save this and execute this you can see here name course is not defined because now this course class is deleted from the memory so it is showing the error message so del keyword is used to delete the object from the memory so now you understand uh, everything uh, regarding to uh, inheritance that's about uh, that's all about uh, the uh, object oriented uh, concept programming concept about in python so uh, you can get our all all videos in uh, oguild uh, this is the, our official website where you can get all the videos of our channel and we you can access the, our uh, oguild youtube channel also in youtube also youtube channel uh, also you can access oguild so thank you very much